Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Luck Light Plays. We're continuing our run through of Lagrange Point. And it's, uh, again, it's been a little bit since I've played last. Uh, I'm gonna try to pick this up right where we left off. On the last episode, we found a capsule that we need to deliver to this basement, so that's what we're doing right now. Uh, it is the, I believe it's the Karashima, I believe it was called. We're about to find out in a second anyway. Oh, Matsushita. It's gonna make a special energy pack. Got an energy pack. And I believe what that does is that will restore my, uh, battery to max for everybody. So, we're gonna keep that along with us. Alright, uh, spare steroid. Why don't I put it to use? Don't do that in real life, kids. Okay, so, our next step was going to be to head back to where we were on land 2. And uh, we were going to head to a place called the Isis Hotel, which is another one of those uh, kind of side areas that is full of items and treasure. So before we do that, uh, it'd probably be to our benefit to clean out our items. So let's, us, let's go ahead and sell some stuff. I uh, don't think I will need 1k anymore. We have a plenty of 3Ks. Rebel hit points we really don't use. Same thing with normal healing. We don't seem to use that much anymore. And I am going to get rid of one more battery pack just in case. I don't want to be uh, heading over to that area and not having enough room to carry all the stuff back home. And I don't want to go here the second time, so might as well be ready. So let's head over to land two and uh, enter that area. This is a corneria area. Corneria area. I'll skip that. And we need to head over to our little flying ship that we picked up recently, actually. South Cruiser Station, West Rec Center, and South Isis Hotel, which is our, and then the Corn Base, which is this place we want to go afterwards. But first, we're going to explore Isis Hotel once we get there. I do know I've mentioned this before. Thank you for letting us know about that hit point absorption. Um, I know I didn't mention this before, it's kind of a bummer that we get into fights while we're on the hover plane. I suppose it's because we're not hovering that much higher than usual and the enemies can just jump and swipe at us, I don't know. Anyway, here we are. And no sooner that we took a step in, we get into some fights. Watch out for confusion, sure. Always do. Problem. This place looks familiar, actually. I wonder if I've been here already and I forgot. Well, these guys rust me, which is not a problem because I'm not a robot. Maybe I haven't been here. Although, the chests seem to close themselves. Ooh, more Zambonis. Although, they can't be too dangerous if they're pointing to the side. I mean, I'm over here. Turn it to, to the left, maybe 35 degrees, and you'll, you'll be aiming right at me, but... Oh, I got another sand missile. Alright, so we head upstairs, and it looks like there's a stairwell right there to that treasure chest, so let's go ahead and grab that real quick. Watch your armor. 
Alright, it'll do. I watch it be pressed upon my breast. Alright, no big deal on the enemy so far. Which is good. We've gotten into pretty tough scrapes lately, so it's good to finally have a that is. I'm sure it's not as good as what I have. I don't even know who can use it. Oh wait, it's an arm. Wow, I am a spaz. Alright, he's got the shuttle body, so I'll try it with her. Much better. Yeah, sorry about that. I, uh, I guess I've been playing a little bit of Chrono Trigger lately. Not for the channel. I'm sorry. I hope you, uh, forgive me on that one. I might play it for the channel later. But I am trying to play obscure games, and that is the farthest thing from obscure. It's a tried and true classic. Everybody who knows Super Nintendo knows it. And if you don't, go play it. Maybe I'll play it later. <laughs> but, uh, maybe I'll find a ROM hack for it. Do these even exist? Anyway, not uh, not the topic we should be talking about right here, but uh, you know, arms are robo's weapons. So I've been thinking about that, and I instantly thought, hmm, this must be a robot weapon. It's a gauntlet. <laughs> so, that's my fault. I apologize if you hear me drinking every once in a while. Uh, my throat has been acting up lately, and I didn't want to forego recording these, so I'm doing my best to keep myself hydrated, so I'm not scratchy. We seem to be doing okay so far. Should be a quick excursion. We'll head over to the next area soon. Looks like, get through these hallways. Well, now that I said something, right? Tons and tons of enemies. So, I hope all of you had a great July. It's uh, August 1st. The uh, summer's been going well, hopefully, for you. Got a multi missile here. Robo parts will be uh, put to use on my goofy robot that I have back in storage. Which will probably involve me just switching them in, putting it on, switching them back out, because I like the characters I have right now. Even though Astro kind of annoys me sometimes with his lack of strength. He's got good skills, so I keep him around. I'm sure in the boss battles I'll put him to good use. Alright, so which way should we go? I wonder if it even matters. Probably doesn't. No, I'm just gonna go. Mm, something over there. I guess I'll go down this one first. Oh no, one guy. This does look like the final floor. Because I don't see any other stairwells here. here, and we will dictate on how useless this place was if I don't get too far and don't find much good stuff. Multi-missile. Can't carry anymore. Yeah, finding those sand missiles. Kinda did it for me there. But it looks like multi-missiles are pretty awesome. If I want to keep them or not. You know what, I'm just gonna trash the sand missiles. Because now that we found that a place that we can kind of pick them up easily, just by being here and fighting, if we ever need sand missiles, we sure as hell know a place to get them. Fight through these 
guys real quick. Another sand missile. Apparently they never stop dropping. Watch out for confusion and watch out for armor. Also watch out for spite and jealousy. Avoid the illusions. Can't care anymore. Yeah, it's because of those sand missiles I keep picking up. Um, I guess I could drop the ceramic arm. It's not like I'm hurting for money, so I don't really need to sell it. Multi-missile. So apparently this was just the missile store. Which is very confusing, because this is apparently a hotel. Or it's named a hotel. So why does a hotel be, seem to be filled to the brim with silly multi-missiles? I know it's back on Nintendo and we probably shouldn't question these things, but it still makes me wonder. But anyway, let's get out of here. And what we could do, if we have time, is head back and uh, see what the robot parts will do for our dear robots. Even though, I, you know, even though if I don't use them, it's good to get the parts. As long as it doesn't revert him to bow, uh, I, yeah, I wonder if that does that. I wonder if it reverts him if he put out too many of them on at once. Will it revert him back to the original? Like one level one weapon. Be kind of scary, wouldn't it? I honestly don't know if it does that, so. I sure hope not. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Confusion. Got it. Having a level 5 weapons very much helps. Alright, so I want the top stairwell. Or else I'll be stuck in a room with no exit. Except for the place I went. Looks like on the next episode I will be heading back to uh, put robot parts in robots. Robots. If I ever get out of here. Then these monsters. Oh, they're robots too, I guess. These robots and monsters are uh, slowing me down. As I was. Actually, now that I think about it, I do have that Nichrome sword. So I, got... I kind of want to see. I have been gaining a few levels. Alright, he's already got one. No, oh, I guess I'm all set with that. I think I've just been carrying it just to fuse later. I'm sure it'll make something useful. So I can find better. Rank 5 weapons are pretty awesome. Alright. Got out of here just in time as it shoots me out without <laughs> me noticing. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back to the, uh, the tower there and uh, get ourselves back to the base and we'll see what those. Uh, robot parts do for us, and I'll probably... I don't know if I'm going to sell those uh, missiles yet. Maybe I'll carry them for the next guy. Next boss. 
feel like a boss is coming soon. Maybe one that we actually have to fight and beat. Won't just swoop at us and run away. So, we'll see. I don't want to uh, take too many risks. I feel those missiles might be... They're there for a reason, I'm assuming, so I should probably carry them. So, anyway, I'm going to head back, and I will see you on the next episode. If I ever make it to it. <laughs> anyway, my name is Lucklight. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.